I'm excited to be here. I'm an OBGYN by training and a diplomat with the Board of Obesity Medicine, and I direct our Wellness Institute at the hospital where I work. For nine years in my private practice, I poured out my heart and told people exactly what to do to get healthy. I told them how to lose weight, how to lower their cholesterol, and spent hours personalizing programs with them. And in that first nine years of my practice, I had three patients make a significant change in their health. And at the end of that nine years, I counted that up and I thought, oh my gosh, this is not okay. In fact, I felt such a level of personal failure and despair that I really questioned whether I ought to be a doctor. I thought three in nine years is despicable. And I was certainly a stress case, full of a lot of anxiety and stress at that point myself. And I thought, what am I gonna do? Nothing that I'm doing is making a difference in these people's lives. And an angel walked in my office. It was take shape for life in the form of a body named Philip. And so he shared with me and I became a health coach. And within 30 days, I had 21 people whose results were blowing my mind. I thought, holy cow, I've got to take these people off of medication. <laughs> hope again actually a little spark started and those 21 people stayed on program six months later a person who's sitting in this audience six years later having sustained their weight at an optimal level and improved their health that person had walked into my office as one of my first patients on take shape for life and I said I have to ask you to do something with me I'm afraid you're not going to come back at the end of the summer her C-reactive protein, which is a marker for inflammation, was 18, which is a level that you start searching for cancer or a terrible autoimmune disorder at those levels. And there wasn't any cancer or autoimmune disorder. It was heart disease brewing and inflammation. So six months later, that CRP was normal. She was at normal weight. She's here today. And the rest of our group in that first six months are still living healthy today. And in fact, now those 21 people have become thousands. So, yeah. so I was all in, you know, I was like, okay, this works, right? And so I asked my husband, Robert, to join me as a health Woo! coach because I could only coach a certain number of people. And we started reaching out and building a team. Well, in the perfect way that God and the universe works, I was being prepared for something. My hospital had a position come open that I was able to take to become the director of wellness. And in that position, I was given the opportunity to build from scratch what I wanted to build. And so I built our Wellness Institute on the principles that I've learned in Take Shape for Life. That we walk the talk, that we build relationship, and that we ask people what they want most for themselves. Now it's a little different in a Western medical hospital to be doing that. But here's what I want you to know. I knew when I started that program that the leading Corporate studies say that there is no return on investment for a lifestyle program in a corporate wellness world. They say there's only return on investment to the bottom line if you do disease management. Make sure people take their asthma inhaler. Make sure they take their diabetic medication. Go to the doctor. I set out to prove something different. So I haven't even told you this, Dr. A. So this last week, I get the results of this past two years, our cumulative data in our hospital, and we have not only reduced, the, the people that have worked with us have reduced, there's a dub of peace. I know. <laughs> you can't, that, that, you can't make that up. Go ahead. Make that up. You can't make that up. No. So here's the message from that dub. Okay. No. Um, we actually, 40% of our employees have reduced their blood pressure, their cholesterol, their body mass index, their body fat, or their blood sugar. Woo! Thank you, Take Shape for Life. And in that process, here's the bottom line. For the first time, our hospital has decreased its health claims. And I'm shaking because I'm getting more nervous as I tell you this. The other thing though, and this is the thing I'm most proud of, for four quarters, we've had zero stress claims in our employees at my hospital. Woo! And what I have to tell you, it's because we have health coaches out there looking in people's eyes saying, what's going on with you? what matters to you, what's most important to you. 
And it doesn't matter if that coach thinks that they, it's that they need to lose 100 pounds. If the employee says, I've got three jobs and I'm stressed to the max, that's where we start. So all I can say is every choice you make makes a difference. Dr. A made a choice, I made a choice. Me choosing to walk up the stairs instead of the elevator, choosing to order a healthy meal, choosing to bring a dream to fruition makes a difference. It gives permission for the people around you to change their lives. So I am just so, so excited to be with all of you on this mission and let's go get the world healthy. Awesome. Thank you. Ben.